We've done books, we've done music, it's movie time. It's the holiday remix. Oh. So I watched like 200 movies this year, but only about 28 of them were new releases. So of those 28, these are my top 10. And before we get started, special shout out to the Hunger Games, Bout of Songbirds and Snake. Great movie, but not top 10 material. Same with um, the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. It wasn't that great of a movie, but it was great to me. And Megan. I fucking loved Megan. If Megan has no fans, check check on me. I must be dead because that, that was like such a good fucking movie for no reason. But all right, getting into top 10 territory, let's do it. In 10th place, I have Asteroid City, which is directed by Wes Anderson. It is a very classic Wes Anderson movie. Like this was good, but also someone said once, if you've seen one Wes Anderson movie, you've seen all of them. So it's like, this was good, but it wasn't like anything new. Like we get it, you like symmetry and colors, but like, and you like telling stories about stories. That was the most interesting part. I do really like how they had like the one scene where he's on the balcony in the black and white. And I really, I thought all the acting was phenomenal. And just in general, I love the idea of like small town USA getting shut down because an alien came down to earth. And also that alien looked fucking weird and five stars for that alone. Um, in ninth place, I have Cocaine Bear. I thought it was fun. I had a really, really fucking good time. I saw it in the theater and that, seeing things, all of these movies pretty much I saw in the theater and a lot will ride on the theater experience and Cocaine Bear was just a great theater experience. And it was funny, it was everything it needed to be, a like gory comedy, it was like, it was perfect. It did the job. I actually really, really liked it. Um, eighth place, Baby J, which is John Mulaney's comedy special that's on Netflix. If you're looking for a comedy special on Netflix, let's watch that one instead of Matt Rife's because, oh my God, I could make a whole video about how I've never liked Matt Rife. I'm really, really glad people have finally woken up and realized that he's not funny and has never been. Um, anyway, I thought it was really good. He talks a lot about his struggles with addiction, but like, I think that's the kind of dark, edgy humor that's actually funny. Like, I would love to do an hour-long comedy set about my mom being dead, and I think it would be some of the funniest material ever. Seventh place, Guardians of the Galaxy 3. The fight scene in the hallway is amazing. Second best hallway fight scene, um, second only to the man himself, Daredevil. Um, I was crying over a fucking CGI raccoon. I really, I, I just, it had a good villain, it had a cohesive storyline. Also the like um, costumes in that are always freaking like gorgeous and um, super impressive and the visuals are always super cool. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy is always just like fun and this was fun and yet also like very, it was the, it's the deepest one. Like I, well, why, why was I crying? In sixth place, I have Priscilla, which is the newest A24 movie um, directed by Sofia Coppola and it stars Jacob Elordi as Elvis. Um, but it's not really about Elvis, it's about Elvis's wife Priscilla and her like whole, just basically her entire life because she started, she met Elvis when she was like 14. So the movie starts when she's 14 and ends when she leaves him at like age 30 or something. And it just shows their insane relationship and oh my god, it was just, it was so, so good. Um, if you haven't had the opportunity to see it, go see it. Number five, we're in top five territory now, baby. Oppenheimer. Look, I am nothing if not a fake film bro. And like, this was really cool. I love like the use of black and white versus color. I liked, oh my gosh, when he's, the like moment when he, um, realizes like how like what he did and he's walking in through the gymnasium and it's super loud and they're like stomping their feet and then he sees like all the dead people that seems amazing everyone in it is acting their ass off and it it's like very very well acted I mean I don't love it it's a three hour movie about war so like there there's always going to be that downside of it but 
I loved the film parts of it. It's really fucking cool that it's, and I also am happy that like it got all the buzz that it did because of Barbie Heimer. Um, fourth place, I have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. This is the second best animated movie that came out this year. Fuck whatever Disney's doing. That shit looks AI generated. Um, I love the style of the Ninja Turtles. Um, it's a straightforward plot, but it's fun. And it's, it's, it's like a fun, good plot. And then the voice acting is so, so, so good. And I just love the way that they did it and having real teenagers playing them. And it just really comes across on screen that like, these are just like 15 year olds fucking around. And that's exactly what the turtles are. Don't hate me for this one guys, but I have Barbie in third place. I loved it. I loved Barbie. They, I just loved two other movies more. Um, I have nothing to say about Barbie that hasn't already been said. Um, so here's pictures of me dressed up as Ken. And I also had a Barbie themed birthday. Like I'm serious about Barbie, don't worry. But there were two movies better than Barbie. The one of them being number two on this list, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. I had the hardest time not putting this at number one and like, it's basically a tie for number one and number two. Um, I'm insane about Spider-Man, we know this. I love Miles Morales. Um, Into the Spider-Verse was revolutionary, completely changed animation and shit. There's a reason we call it like Spider-Verse style animation. I just, mm, the soundtrack is so good. The voice acting is amazing. The soundtrack's great. The animation's crazy good. Like, this is one of the most insane visual, like, experience. Like, the visuals on this movie are crazy. I saw it four times while it was in theaters. I bought four separate movie tickets to see this movie. It was so good. Just, it was everything. I am pissed off that it is a part one of two and that the writer and actor strike probably pushed back when we're getting part two because I want it so bad. I want to sink my teeth into it, get my grubby little paws on it. In the top spot, number one, doo -doo 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 -doo, bottoms. It was so, I am, look at me. I'm actually kind of dressed like a straight person today, but I'm not, don't get it twisted. I am a femme cell loser lesbian and this was the best representation I've ever seen. Um, I like don't even know, this is the funniest fucking movie I've ever seen. It is everything a comedy should be and needs to be. It's like, I don't even, I can't even like express like thoughts about it because it's like, I have never, like th this movie brings me so much joy. It's just straight joy. Like, oh my God, you're telling me it's about, it's about two girls who start a fight club to get hot cheerleaders to date them? And Iowa Debris is the star? I would, I would watch that girl go to the grocery store. Like, oh my God, it's so good. And I don't even know, like, if you somehow haven't seen Bottoms because it was a smaller movie, go fucking watch Bottoms. Why haven't you seen it? That's kind of homophobic. Like you, 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 you want to be a good ally, go watch Bottoms. Um, it is the funny, like the funniest teen comedy I've ever seen. And I'm so... I just, I loved it. I hope we get more movies like that. And it's just, it's so original. Like if you're sick of like a million Marvel movies or the weird stuff Disney's doing these days, or the fact that no one can be funny anymore because you can't say anything these days, go watch this movie. It's funny as fuck. It's original as fuck. It's nothing. It's, it's so, ugh. I love this movie. Um, Anyway, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all of the stuff that YouTube enjoys. I will see you tomorrow.